you know, I'm absolutely not anti-digital. And uh, much of our work, maybe all of it, wouldn't be possible without it being touched sometimes throughout and sometimes at very significant uh, uh, situations of the process by uh, a digital process. Uh, many of our many of our projects wouldn't have been possible at all 20 years ago. Not possible to do, not possible to, uh, to distribute. But uh, that still allows for the fact that it's clear that it was created by, by people with love and uh, affection behind it. I'd say that the physical materials that I like the best are probably the ones that I haven't touched before. Anything that we haven't quite considered before or is a new process there where it's interesting to learn that process, where you can uh, figure out what that process could offer as far as communicating something, saying something or uh, uh, is concerned, that's mostly the one that has a chance to yield an interesting, uh, ultimately an interesting uh, piece of work and where the process in is interesting. I think because I quite like to plan, maybe because I've been uh, born so close to the German border, uh, from my own DNA, I actually would like to repeat myself. But because that becomes so incredibly boring, uh, I have to find a way out. And But if I go too far away from what I know, it just becomes too anxiety-ridden. So I think I'm somewhere most uh, comfortable in between, where I know half of, uh, of what I'm about to do, and I don't know the other half. Underlying everything that we do is that we want to make, we want to talk to humans while being human. And that the things that we do, it's clear that it's coming from a, another human. And as to very distinct from it coming from a machine. And you know, with modernism, you know, mostly created by an Austrian three Germans and a Swiss guy uh, taking over the entire world. And the very important idea of modernism is being that it heralding the machine age. This was in the 1920s, which made sense in the 20s because it was historicism and people just basically took ornamentation from anywhere and applied it to anything. So it made for a second, it made sense in the 20s, but this designed like it's made by a machine. Makes absolutely no sense now that so many machines are actually talking to us. And I mean, there is uh, clearly everybody that I ever talked to hates talking to a machine, hates when they call a company and they have to deal with a machine through uh, to find their way uh, to, an actual, to an actual human. So the idea that we would communicate it and making clear in that communication that it comes from a human being and is emotional, I think is, a, a, is an important one for us while we're doing it. And I think has a bigger chance to be taken seriously by a viewer. And uh, from that point of view, be uh, the handmaid is uh, one direction, uh, a formal direction. Uh, I would say that more important 
then that formal direction, or equally important than that formal direction, though, is that the content is clearly human. That means, you know, truthful, authentic, uh, the fact that we believe in, if, if, it's a, if it's a promotional thing, that we would use whatever it is promoting ourselves and actually think that this is promotable, meaning that it's a good project or a good product or a good uh, service. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to me.